Hi, welcome to Team Mother Sheep Reviews. Hope you've been keeping safe and making the most of the lockdown. So, hell of a situation for us to be in, but just like most of you, I'm in a situation where I have to set up to work from home. So, in the process of working from home, the 3D printer had to be shifted and I eventually give in and had to make room in the shed. So. This is where I always intended it on being, but obviously in the, being in the shed, it's a cold environment and I've got the enclosure that I made for this very occasion. I've got a little CCTV camera, which is connected to the Wi-Fi, which allows me to keep an eye on it. So no different to when I go to work and I look at it on my, my phone and I can watch the print. If the print fails, I can turn it off. What I found in the house, in the enclosure, if it's quite warm in the shed, then the temperature, I got a thermometer there, the temperature starts to creep up. Now in, in the conservatory where I had it, if it got too hot, and I just simply opened the doors. And then with the doors open, it wasn't a problem. So I just keep an eye on the thermometer. But I'm not always gonna be in the shed. So I had a little think about how I'm gonna control the environment temperature. So I looked at environment control systems and as you can imagine, they start to get a little bit on the pricey side. But I found a solution. It is not expensive at all. The first situation is you need a fan. Let's get the heat out of there with a the fan. But you won't want the fan all the time because you won't want it drawing cool air and having the same problem. So. I bought myself a 120 mil fan, which I'm going to place on the back. It's a big fan, it's not a high RPM, but then I need something to control the fan. So I found these little devices. Let me show you, Let me show you this. This is an XH-W3001, and this is for heating or cooling control. I kid you not, this was about £3.60. £3.60 for a controller. I uh, had it from Banggood. You'll, you'll find them, they, they're on eBay. Quite simple. You can buy them in 12 volt, 24 volt, or 230 volt. And whatever supply goes in is the supply that's going to come out. So that's a point to remember. So I've set, connected it. So I'm going to have. A 24 volt supply which will plug into the spare socket of my power supply which is 24 volts and it will run the 24 volt fan which I'm kind of telling porkies because I stupidly bought a 12 volt fan so I put a little power supply uh, a little back unit inside there but I won't go into that because you can buy a 24 volt fan if you have a 12 volt power supply for your for your 3D printer, then you'll buy the 12 volt version and the 12 volt fan. And attached to this unit is a little sensor. So this is the temperature probe. And it's quite simple. You program this to come on at a temperature and go off at a temperature. So whether you want it to be heating or cooling is the left hand button programs the on temperature and the right hand button control sets the off temperature so you can program it to be heating or cooling how does that work let me show you so as you can see it's it's a nice little controller and it's got in and out I put the braid on it they were just wires so you've got a supply pair and a pair a supply pair out to a fan or a heater or whatever you're gonna whether you're gonna heat up and to set it up so you give it power and then it's quite simple you press and hold the left one and that gives you one temperature setting and you can turn that up or down see so if I wanted to turn it up I press and hold that and then say set it if I set it to 25 degrees for example and then leave it for a couple of seconds and it'll acknowledge it and I press and hold the right hand one and that'll be the temperature that you want it to go off. And obviously if you set the temperatures differently for heat, it'll work as heating. So I'm going to set it, so what I want it to come on, 24 degrees. 
and I want it to go off, I'll say I'll set it to to 21 degrees. So I'll put it at 21 degrees, and I just let it let it set. Now if I get the probe and I touch touch the probe and I give it uh, some body heat and let it go up to 25 degrees you should see the fan come on quite responsive well there goes the fan so the fan is now running so I'll leave the probe in front of the fan to cool it down and we'll gradually see the temperature starting to drop as it has the fan has a cooling effect and it's going to be programmed I think it was 21 degrees that was a 22. so when it gets to the set point temperature the contacts or the relay inside this controller will switch so it's coming down and and that's it so obviously if the temperature starts to, to rise so this this set probe will be in the con inside the enclosure so as the temperature starts to to creep up as soon as it gets to whatever temperature I set it at in this case 25 on she comes so a nice little controller as I said this is the XHW 3001 and this was ridiculously cheap like I said I think I paid three pounds sixty which is probably about four or five dollars I mean that that is just crazy and they come in 12 volt 24 volts and 230 volts so the temperature range minus 50 to 110 with an accuracy of 0.1 degrees centigrade so absolutely crazy cheap so absolutely over the moon with this I'm gonna set it up I drilled a little hole in and put a of a grommet uh, added a little bit of plastic spiral wrap on there to firm it up so I can actually stick that in the side of my enclosure so that will be somewhere near the top and I'm going to mount this on the, on the side so I can see the set and see the temperature this thing takes 0.8 of an amp so actually I tell a lie this is 0.2 of an amp 0.2 is nothing so it's designed for a, a computer cabinet uh, cooling so like I said, it, it's, it spins at a slower RPM. It's not a screaming fan. And it's brushless. So, should be fine. So I'm just gonna bolt this inside the machine and get on with some prints. So it's installed, I've set the temperature to 24 degrees, that's the lower end temperature, I've set the upper end at 26 at the minute, fan comes on, pulls it easily down to 24, no problem at all, it's quite warm in here, it's, it's about 22 degrees in here at the moment, it's obviously the weather's quite warm, obviously if it was colder then that would be quite a high temperature. But this, the idea is, is to get the enclosure down to about 24. When it gets to 26, try and suck some of the heat out of it. I've got a big vent at the front of the machine, in front of the enclosure, and it's open and closable. So in the winter time, I could close it up and get less air in there. Obviously, I got the side door, the the hatch where the filament goes in, which I can unhook and to allow air to come in. What I want to do is just allow enough of the cool air to come from the shed, go across the bed and out through the top. There's also a vent at the very back at the bottom so, so the, the air is going to be evenly. Heat rises, the hotter temperature is going to be at the top so the fan is mounted at the top, that's quite important. Something to mention, I've taken the power supply out of the enclosure. So obviously the power supply runs quite warm. You don't want that having the added heat. You, it needs to run, the fan runs on that and cools itself down. So it needs to be outside the enclosure. There's electronics, there's the control board. That's actually inside the enclosure still. But electronics, 
is generally good at, for up to 40 degrees so once you get in the 40 zone things get a bit unpredictable certain components could start failing or crashing it's a computer at the end of the day but that will work comfortably at 40 up to 40 degrees i'm keeping this enclosure and all the electronics inside down to maximum temperature 26 obviously it's at the bottom of the machine the cool air is being drawn in at the bottom so that's going to be the coldest it's, it's going to be in that enclosure is at the bottom so and that's where the control board is so that control board i could put a thermometer in there but it's probably in the lower 20s when the top of the enclosures hitting 26 fans just come on so during that time i've been talking it's actually crept up to 26 and it's now pulling back down you'll if you do the same you'll have to test it like i said i've got two sizable vents in the bottom of the enclosure so there's plenty of air drawn through like i said the ambient temperature in this uh, in the shed in the room is in this, in the 20s 20, 21 maybe and so the the air is quite warm going into the enclosure from outside anyway but it's comfortably pulling it down to 24 degrees which i'm absolutely blown away i hope you enjoyed that video and stay tuned for more videos from team with sheep reviews so thank you again if you like what you see subscribe because who knows what i'm working on next like i said i got a plane behind me that's dying to be maidened we've we've had an ease in the lockdown but the weather has been awful we've had i think one good day where we could have gone flying and i was working <laughs> that's life anyway keep safe keep clean stop touching your bits catch you soon so thank you for watching team Wolu sheep reviews hope you found this helpful so thank you again bye